macOS 26 beta. Oh baby. I'm going to install this on my actual computer. Not recommended, but I want to see what's new. Boink, ladies and mental gen, we're about to be in. There's the new glassy clock. First of all, what did they do to the mouse cursor? Look, it has rounded corners. I noticed this during their event, but I thought it was something fake put on the screen. Wait, I have to... Whoa, look at that. The trash icon as well. Interesting glass menu. Okay. There's also a new text select cursor as well. And look at the window resize cursor. The corners are more rounded everywhere, that's for sure. And I've already noticed the transparent top bar. It looks very different, but I kind of like it. Okay, I'm interested in the mouse cursor. Let's go into accessibility settings. Display. Oh, what happened to these sliders? Oh, it turns into a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely an interesting UI change. Let's make the pointer massive. Okay, so they didn't really add ability to change the mouse pointer. They just updated the default one. Oh, look, there's the new folder icons. They also updated Spotlight, I think. Oh, yes, they did. Very bouncy animations. How fast is it? Eh. I want to see the new hand cursor as well. <gasps> What if I open Mousecape? Can I get the old macOS cursor back? Boom, this is very close to the default one. And it doesn't change. So now this is permanently the default one. You can of course get the old one back if you have SVG images of the previous cursor. Very interesting. What if I do capes and then dump cursors? This should show me how all of the cursors look like. There's the arrow, okay, more rounded corners. This one stayed the same. The copy cursor stayed the same. So if I try to copy this folder, yeah, it's the old cursor. I don't know if I like those inconsistencies. Apple. Wait, for some reason, the actual point where the cursor registers is off to the left. <laughs> so they just updated some cursors, it seems like, but the dock looks crazy. Oh, and Finder looks completely different. And how does light mode look like? Look at these massive sliders everywhere. So now macOS definitely looks similar to GNOME, the Linux desktop environment, especially with these rounded corners. What if I open Safari? Highlights. See helpful information such as directions, summaries, and additional details. No. So what's new in settings? Maybe there are new wallpapers. There should be. Yes, there are. By the way, if you like these wallpapers, I'll leave a link to the wallpaper pack in the description. Let's test out the official ones. Does it resemble Windows Vista? What about dark mode? Interesting. I think dark mode icons look much better. Look, this is light mode, or actually this is before the update and this is after the update. Let's see all applications. Oh, this interface is different. It used to open it full screen, and now it lets you search within all applications. Cool. Preview icon has changed. How has the preview changed? If I snap a quick screenshot, it's all the same but more rounded corners. Oh yes, you can also customize the folder. There are a bunch of emojis. Let's use a classic nerd emoji. Boink. Yellow is going to fit very well. And there's my custom folder. I still can't believe they changed the mouse cursor. So let's go into settings and see if I can sniff out anything that's different. Ooh, icon and widgets style, clear, and everything just changed on the left. Wait, oh, that doesn't look super good. Maybe I choose like a normal, regular color. Oh, oh, hell no. I don't remember these settings. System and app controls can be configured to appear in both control center and the menu bar. This is definitely new. I can add something like stopwatch to the menu bar. Yes, I can. And it's right there. There's screenshot tools you can put inside of the menu bar. Okay, this is definitely a useful feature. So now if I go here, oh, it just opens the clock. Not what I expected. Apple intelligence, 0% complete. Very true. Minimize the window animation genie effect or scale effect. I think they changed this. Never mind, looks the same. I like this one though. What else is new? iPhone widgets disable. Let's quit rectangle and try the default window snapping. Maybe it's better. Doesn't seem like it. It still takes forever to activate. How does mission control look? Very glassy. Did they fix the animation speed when switching virtual desktops? Of course not. If you switch with your trackpad, the animation takes twice as long than if you switch with your keyboard. Wait, maybe it is here. Accessibility, motion, reduce motion. Does it fix it? No, it just fades over that duration. Maybe they added triple click for the trackpad. Like, you know, when you click the scroll wheel, you don't have to click on the little X on the tab and it will close it. You can do this by pressing the trackpad with three fingers on Windows. But you can't do this on macOS unless you have an app called middle click. It would be a great feature to add. I kind of like this new simpler application picker. And the new icon style definitely looks cool. Wait a minute, the mouse cursor, the hand cursor is different in Google Chrome compared to my normal desktop. That's probably just the 
the bug that's going to get fixed. Let's see what else was there. Custom folder icons. Yes. Control center customization. Very cool. Icon tinting. That doesn't look very good, just like on the iPhone. Spotlight search. Actions. Let's go into actions. Dim displays with better display. Send message. Start timer. Add quick keys. TM. And now if I open spotlight. TM. Space. 20 minutes. Start timer failed because shortcuts couldn't convert from text to the required type. Do I just do TM? Enter. And then I say 20 minutes. Okay. And boom, it pops up in my menu bar. Oh, there's a new animation for changing brightness. Volume as well. And they nicely transition between each other. Zip, zip, zip. Oh wait, what happens if I change the mouse cursor color? It's going to accessibility. Oh, that's interesting. What if I do black on white? Wait, it doesn't look bad reversed. Huh? I didn't really like how the previous one looked reversed, but this one is not too bad. I like it. Okay, so that's it for the Apple visual upgrade. There are probably many more things under the hood that I didn't explore here. This is just a first look, but I like how the icons look like. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of how much the corners are rounded everywhere. There's a new mouse cursor. The menu bar is transparent. What if I open a full screen app? Does it stay transparent? Yes, it does. Safari's search bar got bigger as well. Open pages and tabs instead of windows. So there's no longer the option to choose the old view and the new view. Look at this cool color effect. It's grabbing it from my wallpaper. So yeah, that's it. Bye.